Despite appearances, this furry little critter is not a tiny mountain lion. In fact, it's more closely related to a mongoose than a cat. The likely reason for this appearance can be attributed to convergent evolution, a process in which species evolve similar traits to achieve the same goal. Since there aren't any true cats on the island of Madagascar, these strange mammals took their place. Fossa and other members of Eupleridae first appeared in the fossil record around 18 to 24 million years ago, during the Paleogene period, and it is currently thought they got to Madagascar from mainland Africa via rafts of vegetation. Being the size of a Jack Russell Terrier, fossa are not very large animals. Males tend to weigh around 6.2 kilograms to 8.6, whilst females only weigh 5.5 to 6.8. Though unconfirmed reports have stated the existence of a 20 kilogram individual. Fossa are carnivorous, and one of Madagascar's top predators. In fact, they're such accomplished predators, they prey on every single living species of lemur. This being said, they will also feed on pretty much any small animal they can take, like tenrex, reptiles, and even invertebrates. They also consume fruits and seeds, though it's hypothesized this is mainly as a source of much-needed water in the extremely hot environment they live in. The fossa is found in all known forest habitats throughout Madagascar. From dry deciduous forests, rainforests, and spiny forests, they tend to feel at home anywhere lemurs are found in abundance, though they are seen more frequently in humid environments. Unlike their true cat counterparts, which tend to be more active during the evening, fossa have sporadic and irregular intervals of activity during the night or day in which food is acquired. This is called cathomorality. Perhaps one of the strangest things about fossa is how they reproduce. And that's because of the female's anatomy. You see, female fossa are actually born with a penis, or a pseudopenis, which is a structure that superficially resembles a male's genitalia. As females get older, this reduces in size. It is thought that this evolved to lower harassment shown to them by males until they are ready to reproduce, and lower aggression shown to them from territorial adult females. Said females are polyandrous, typically mating with multiple males in September and October. And they tend to have a tree specifically for this, with almost all intromissions taking place in the canopy. I was lucky enough to speak to Claire Rigby, an ethologist with extensive knowledge of endangered species, who will tell us about the threats these animals are currently facing. So, all Madagascan species face quite a few threats, um, unsustainable agriculture being the biggest. So, unsustainable logging of trees, illegal logging of trees, unsustainable vanilla harvesting and farming, and also unsustainable mining practices. And it's not just threatening fossa and lima. Species like the golden mantella are critically endangered, can only be found in 14 ponds on the whole island, an island as big as France. Um, lemurs such as the rake tails face huge threats from the illegal pet trade on account of films like the Madagascan film. And animals like fossa and eyes are persecuted because of their behaviours. If you would like to learn more about these fascinating animals and the ecosystems they live in, I suggest checking out the series Our Planet, narrated by Sir David Attenborough. They do a fantastic job of capturing these incredible creatures out in the wild, where they truly come into their own.